welcome to Danny Knott's Eat a Chode. That's ridiculous. I bet he would put your dick in his mouth if he had the chance. Right, right. Exclamation point! I do my triathlon training with Pokemon, so I'm confident about my speed. Great. I don't care about your speed because I'm not fighting you with Pokemon. Yeah, that makes no sense. Also, why you gotta be wearing no clothes? God, slut. Fucking skin. She's a beefcake too, apparently. <laughs> Using the word beefcake to describe a woman beef is just cake. not Makes attractive. Me. I actually, uh, my chemistry, I had a beefcake woman. Oh, really? This woman could beat me up, I'm pretty sure. I'm <laughs> at least 80% sure she You know what's funny? Rip my asshole open. What? <laughs> my dad has apparently had his nose broken a few times. So I asked him, like, how did you break your nose? And he said, the first time, uh, I got punched. The second time, the second and third times I fell. Or, like, something else. And I, but I stopped him at punch, and I was like, holy shit, you, you got punched? And, like, I didn't say it exactly like that, but, yeah. um, because I don't remember my exact wording, because, you know, who does? But anyway, um, so, like, it turns out he got punched by a girl. Oh, shit. Yeah, true story, dude, because he was in high school, and, uh, he was cruising with his friend or whatever, and they, like, rear-ended this lady. Oh, shit. But it was really soft, so he said they were sitting there kind of laughing feels. about it. Like, oh, man. That was almost pretty bad. And then she just got out, punched him right in the face, got back in the car, and then drove away. <laughs> what and a bitch. It, yeah, and it broke his nose. Like, it was bleeding all over, he said. So God then I made, I made fun of him for getting his nose broken by a girl. <laughs> Also, how many fucking fortresses are we going to fight? Well, it's not that remarkable, because there were less Pokemon in this generation. It's a less than 1% chance. Is it really? Yeah, there's 386 in this game. Holy shit. Yeah, and I know we fought a Manectric before, too. It's kind of interesting, actually. Yeah, I still don't understand this at all. This uh, particular random. It must not be totally random. It must be, like... Random and weird, different way. I don't know. Well, it's different. That's all that really matters. Yeah. Negligenx. Neg negligent. Negligenk. Negligent. <laughs> Negligenk. Negligenk. Negligenky. Andy, what does foreskin mean? Um. Well, you see, it's like when your little wiener has a little hood. <laughs> I thought it was, like, well, we talked about that before. I'm not gonna make the same joke twice. I was well. Now I have to say what I was gonna say. Yeah, what were you gonna say? I was gonna say uh, the pouch like that kangaroos have. It's a kangaroo pouch. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. We, the one we made. Okay, I thought you meant a joke you made to me, and then I'm like, why not just say it again? Because they haven't heard it. But then I remembered. Was... What joke did I make to you? I don't know. That's what I was. <laughs> that's what I was oh, asking. Shit. Oh, okay. So you yeah. thought I was gonna say yeah. a joke, but really I wasn't. <gasps> it's an empty bag of cheddar sun chips. God damn it! I... <laughs> It just piles up, man. It does. <laughs> and there's a Diet Coke can over there. I'm Thumb not going to edit all this in again. <laughs> Why I'm not, not? That took so long. <laughs> it was totally hilarious. Though. It was funny, it. but... <sighs> it was a one-time thing. We don't got to do that, because if we did it every time your room was a mess, every single we, video would have a montage. Every single one, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, well. man, that's good stuff. I finally cleaned out my car, if you noticed that. I don't know. Uh, I actually didn't. Well. <laughs> but what? I did it for nothing? Well, because well, normally I don't just get in your car and immediately analyze how dirty or clean it is. Actually, I never do that. I don't know why I even said normally. <laughs> I don't know. Matrix gal. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. Huh? That's actually pretty clever. Clever as fuck. Yeah. I'm gonna... Heal my Pokemons. Pokemon? Yeah, my Pokemon. Okay. Alright. 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 I didn't know what that was actually from until like a couple weeks ago. Oh, what's it like from? originally? Uh, it was a Weird Al thing. He like he faked an interview with Eminem because he 
wanted to make a music video for one of the parodies that he did of an Eminem song, and Eminem was all like, nah, and they were going to sue him if he did it or whatever, or something like that. So Weird Al, of course, did the Weird Al thing to do, and then made fun of Eminem relentlessly in a fake interview. Uh, he insinuated that he was gay, uh, like all this other stuff, and like... The way he did it, like, he just acted like he was interviewing him, and then he took stuff that Eminem had actually said in interviews and put it after it. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> he used a few triple negatives. Triple negatives? Yes, triple negatives. Wow. Like, That's I don't even know what an example would be, because I'm... I can't even bring myself to, like, think... <sighs> triple negatives? He's almost smart for doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. But yeah, it was pretty funny. And that was one of the parts, because he says, no, you know what I'm, no, saying, I'm saying, a lot. No, I'm saying. So he, took, he was like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes, I do. <laughs> and it's it like, yes! Yes, I do, what you say? <laughs> it's a lot funnier in context, can yeah. I tell you? No, like, I mean, now that we know where it's You guys, are, it's it's a pretty famous series. Like, it, it's Hay Days. It's Gary's Mad. Yeah, it's Hay Days Gone, but uh, it's not super popular anymore, but... If you don't look it up on YouTube, you can still find it. Yeah, yeah, you guys... Some of you guys might remember it. And if you're already... If you're watching this, then you're already on YouTube, so you're halfway there. Yeah, so... Living on a prayer. You know. Whoa! Living on a prayer! Tip on it will make it, I swear! Whoa! And that's it. That's yep. all I know. Hey, I don't like that up. song. Oh. Neither do I. I actually hate Bon Jovi in general. <laughs> yep. Deal with that. Alright. Yeah, this episode will be a little bit longer. Let's just, uh, finish this battle. Oh, finishing the battle first? Yeah. We can do that. Yeah, we'll finish the battle. Whoa! He butted me. <laughs> oh. Whoa! <laughs> Get him the fuck out of there, mate. <laughs> that made me want to die. <laughs> well, it almost made Abedin die. For yeah. real, so... When you die in the game, you die in real life. Oh, shit. What's that from? Oh, I think it's from, like, Spy Kids or something. Yeah, but it is. Wait, no, it's not. It's in Spy Kids. Maybe. Well, yeah, because that's, is like, that's from, exactly uh... what happens. It might be from something else, and they're just referencing it, but... It's, from, it's a more prominent theme in something else, I think. Hmm. If you die in the game, you die in real life. I... I cannot remember this. Yeah, me neither. It's kind of like, is it if you die in the dream, you die in real life? Because I know that happens in Inception. That that might be what it is. Yeah, they 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 say that in Inception. I remember. Uh -huh. Speaking of which, if they made a second one, I'd be pretty pumped for that. So. Yeah, I, I don't know. I kind of liked the open ending of the last one. Though. I don't remember it. <laughs> uh, well, okay. Well, I guess the video is gonna go a little longer while I explain this. Um. Oh wait. Basically, wait, everybody. I don't know, should you spoil it? Oh, you're right. Yeah, I'm not just going to say the ending of Inception. Yeah, but... never mind, guys. I mean, I know it came out a couple of years ago, but I'm sure there are still people that haven't seen it and would yeah. like to. That came out in 12, didn't it? I think so, actually. Three I was fucking years that... ago. Yep. Holy shit. So in two more years, it'll be past the statute of limitations, I say. <laughs> yep. Well, all right. We'll see you in the next episode. See you. I love all of you. Still gonna keep going? Yeah. Video's still going, I guess, so... Look at those flowers freaking waving. Oh, God, yeah, look at this. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Let's do the wave, do the guy. Wave, Whoa! Wave. Okay. Go get that Pokeball, and then we'll end the video. <laughs> For real, this wait, time. Wait, wait, wait. I want to fight a... I want to fight Great a... Ball. I want to fight a Kecleon. The, there's a... There's a Kecleon. And no, there's a Kecleon. Fight the Kecleon in the next video. No, no, hold on, wait. <laughs> Okay, okay. I had this... I thought that there was an invisible Kecleon here that you fight later. Well, but, there's not. Never Video mind. over. All right, see ya. Are you ready for this? Yeah. ba 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 Oh, he can stop now. I'm rubbing Dylan's leg. Anyway, we're back. Yeah, Andy was just feeling me up. Yeah, I just wanted to, you know... I'm hard. I know. I felt but it. I, well, I'm always hard, so... That's, that. that's my secret. I always <laughs> have a boner. <laughs> that that scene would be so much different if that's what he said. He just yeah. sticks out this humongous Hulk cock. It just, and, and it goes right into that huge worm thing. Just like... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
It's like a dick kebab. <laughs> and then you just swing him and like he'd go into the space. Yeah. Oh my god. You'd be like, ah! Hey, it's a catabra. Blink. I don't know, man. We're kind of. Holy fuck. I don't know. He might be killing us here. Wouldn't that suck if he got like a critical, critical hit? An ultra critical hit? A, Whoa. Yeah, a critical, critical Whoa. hit? A critical hit? That'd be the best hit. Pwn. Oh, okay, you know what always bothered me? The, hmm. I'm surprised they still haven't fixed in the new games. What? Um, they, you know when a move is double super effective? Yeah. They don't, they should say it's ultra effective instead of super effective. They should. Yeah, but they, I don't know why, they just don't. I don't know, because they're gay and lazy mm -hmm. assholes. Mm -hmm. So lazy, they made they made 3D models and, and animations for I'm not a 600 lazy plus Pokemon. Asshole, do what I want. Do, do what I need you to. Feel like? I'm not it's a like, lazy asshole. It's I do what I feel asshole. like. Let's do what I want. Do what I know, I but I was like. changing it because lazy asshole. Why? Means like he does what is required of him. He does his job. You know what I mean? I'm gonna do what you do. My dick. <laughs> I'm Dylan. Yeah, because every single day I say, I'm Dylan. <laughs> I wake up every day. <laughs> I'm Dylan. <laughs> okay, so I have, I have a theory about this randomizing now. I think the trainer Pokemon are randomized based on the route, too. Which is why we're seeing Ooh, yeah, so, many, you're right, you're right. so many fortresses. That would definitely make sense. Why didn't I kill the other fortress with the... Because <laughs> you're retarded? I was like, Nightshade, that's the best option. Hey, we should probably be ready to fight that gym soon, huh? Yeah. We have no idea what's inside of it, but we'll find out. The hard that's actually way. a good point. Because <laughs> there can be anything, because that counts as a different route as well. Yeah. I get negligence up, and then we'll fight him. Yeah, okay. I'll give him some love. We might so. lose a couple Pokemon, though. That's what I'm worried about. Yeah. But you know what? I don't know what kind of levels we're going to deal with here. As a great philosopher once said, I'm gay. Let's do this shit. Yeah. Socrates. Uh, you know, he may or may not have existed. Socrates. Because, um, really the only known documentation we have of him is in a dialogue that Plato actually wrote. And in a lot of his dialogues, actually, he just used, like... Did you, did you catch that there? Ente? Yeah. yeah. Well, he's level 11. He's going down. Nice knowing you. <laughs> and, um... Yeah. So a lot of the characters in Plato's dialogues were fictitious... So really, there's no solid evidence to prove that Socrates was a real person. We just kind of assume he was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Weird. Don't yeah. crush my dreams, by the way. Fuck you. Well, sorry. I mean, Aristotle... I don't, I don't give a shit. Aristotle and Plato were still alive, so... You're alive. Thank you. <laughs> oh, hey, Negligence still leveled up. Yeah. Nice. Oh, good. Another Pokemon I can trash. So I can get that extra level. <laughs> He's gonna get trashed. I've never seen Ponyta's sprite in this game. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. Meow. <laughs> I really like Ponyta in general. Yeah, he's cool. Especially shiny. Rapidash is a pretty pretty strong fucking Pokemon. Mm. Cool looking, too. Yeah. Alright, let's go rape that gym. Well, first I want to... Um, yeah, yeah, shut the fuck up. God damn. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to heal really quick and see if there's anything in the Mart we can buy. We probably uh, have a lot of money now. Good idea. Or at least one decent amount of money. Oh, God. It's... What? So cold. <laughs> How are you still fucking I cold? Did it again. How? Just because I am, dude. Bro. You are, you are a caterpillar right now. I get super cold super easily. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Maybe that's why we call you Dimey. When the hell does anybody call me that, dude? Your nipples. Ah. <laughs> he has dimes for nipples. I have tiny nipples, guys. No, no, your your nipples are literally dimes. The way I see it, there are two possi three possibilities here. One. You stole me, Dime. Okay. Two. I'm listening. You stole me, Dime. All right. And three. You stole me, Dime! He actually says you put the Dime in me pants. You put the Dime in me pants? Yeah, because, okay, remember, he's like, you crustaceous cheapskate! And then he shakes him, and then the, the, the pr like, prehistoric Dime falls out of his pants. Wait, no, that's at the end. That's no, it's that's exactly what happens. And then he's like the, he, then he says Squidward put the dime in his pants. 
Yeah, at the in like halfway through the episode, he says you stole the dime though, and then at the end they kind of repeat it, but it's like he, no, he says uh, there's okay, three we'll possibilities. No, there's three possibilities. Fuck you. One, you stole it. Two, you stole it. Or three, you stole it. And then he says the same thing again. That's what I was just trying to say. Oh.